rusty glove box here and I'm going to work on the uh, power hammer a little bit today. Uh, something that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to mark the eccentric uh, that's going to actually operate my power hammer. But I just wanted to show you how I was going to do it and, and I can't take credit for figuring this out. Y'all need to be sure and check out this guy's channel if y'all can see that. Uh, what it is is not too fast for you to see. He's got a lot of little neat projects, so uh, y'all be sure and check him out. Well, what I've got right here is a circle that is 13 inches. And, uh, you know, if you want to find the center in a circle, it's kind of awkward sometimes. But what he showed is if you have a grid, you could use a combination square or something like that. It just so happens I have this uh, pad that I use when I'm cutting kydex, and it's measured off in inches. So uh, what I do is you just uh, take like your 13 inch measurement and so that's going to be six and a half so you look up your six and a half inch scale and put a mark uh, because your circle is aligned on your grid you'll put another mark at six and a half inches here then you can draw your line across and the same way up and down this way so you've already got your center so what I want to be able to do with this circle, uh, I want to be able to have two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches. Uh, that way I can get different strokes out of the same crankshaft eccentric. Uh, I'm sure once I kind of get it perfected and everything, I'm, I'll probably just use one, one eccentric location but uh, being that this is kind of at the experimental stage, uh, I'll try it like this first. Well, like I say, I've already found center, or reasonably close to it. I'm gonna put my mark. And if I want a longer stroke or shorter stroke, I just move it to one of the different holes. The next thing I did on the U-bolts, I had some U-bolts that come off a of Mazda pickup and they had a rounded top on it, so I, I cut them in half at that top arch and flattened them out, welded them back together so they'd be the right width. And uh, made a couple of cross straps and uh, tightened them on down. Well, it took a little bit to cut through that piece of two inch thick steel. Um, it's a little bit hardened. It, it used to be a uh, forklift blade and uh, it was the side closest to the forklift and uh, I used the chop saw. I think part of it's kind of hardened because I had kind of a little hard time getting through the core of it but uh, I think it'll be perfect 
for kind of an anvil. Uh, I believe what I'm going to need to do is shorten the post just a little bit because it's got the uh, angle a little cocked out right here. So I'm going to need to drop it down maybe an inch or so. I don't think that'll be too hard. I'll use a uh, cutoff wheel on that. But uh, anyway, all, all of this is working pretty good. Well, here we go for our progress today. What I did today is I got the uh, eccentric or the crankshaft, kind of got that finalized. The, the length that I ended up using was a category one top length for a tractor. I was able to get that. It was pretty cheap, wasn't but about $20, and I didn't figure I could uh, build one for that, so that's what I ended up doing for that. Uh, what I had to do is I had to machine a little bit off the pin. I believe the category one pin uh, that like goes on the equipment for the drawbar, I believe it's one inch and uh, anyway for the top link I believe that's a three quarter inch so I had to machine a little bit off that pin. I think you can see the different holes. I've got a two inch, three inch, four inch and five inch and I can change the stroke just by relocating the pin and adjusting the rod. Still haven't finalized and committed to bolting here. I think I'm going to move these blocks out just a touch and uh, that's what the uh, anvil and hammer is going to look like and what I, what I think the adjustment is going to be is to keep it maybe about as far away from the anvil surface uh, as the thickness of the metal that you're working because you're really not just solely striking the anvil uh, you're using that spring to kind of help whip it and uh, it'll soften the blow against the anvil part right there well what I did on this I'm gonna call it the crankshaft pulley uh, machine the keyway, put a key in there, and uh, that way I can lock, lock my pulley. It's not that hard to turn. seems to be working pretty good on the hammer so far. We've got some adjustment and uh, it doesn't bottom out on the stroke. Uh, right now I've got it on about a 10 inch stroke here at the hammer and uh, with those other holes on my eccentric at the pulley I can get more stroke with it if that's what I need. But uh, anyway it looks like we're making pretty good progress. I appreciate y'all watching. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.